guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'll be giving you the hottest news in the world of gaming so be sure to stick around to the end for the best news yet so a few days ago a new mode was revealed in ghost of tsushima and it will be an online cooperative multiplayer mode that will come as a free download for ghost of tsushima owners on ps4 later this year and this mode is called ghost of tsushima legends and it's an entirely new experience it is a separate mode that doesn't follow Jin or the companions from his journey but instead it focuses on four warriors who have been built up as legends in stories told by people of tsushima ghost of tsushima's single player campaign focuses on an open world and exploring the natural beauty of the island but legends is haunting with locations and enemies inspired by japanese folk tales and mythology and an emphasis on cooperative combat and action You'll be able to partner up with friends or via online matchmaking and play legends in groups of two to four players each player can choose from one of four different character classes the samurai the hunter ronin or assassin each class has unique advantages and abilities that will be revealed in future with two players in ghost of tsushima legends you'll be able to play a series of co-op story missions that escalate in difficulty with four players you'll be able to take on wave-based survival missions fighting groups of the toughest enemies tsushima has to offer Early this year, Warner Bros. Montreal started teasing gamers on social media while nothing came out of it yet. It seems it's about to change as Warner Bros. Games Montreal's new game is about to be reviewed via the DC Fandom event. The studio is confirmed to be reviewing their next project at the All Digital presentation and will be one of the many games companies owned by Warner Bros. that has something to announce at the show. Rocksteady Studios, creator of the Batman Arkham franchise, have confirmed they will be attending and will be hearing the first details of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Hitman 3 is coming next January and finally I Interactive decided to drop an information treasure trove on the game modes that the player can explore. Players can engage in a classic campaign experience first and foremost, one that promises a dramatic conclusion to the world of assassination trilogy. Elusive target mode lets players track down a unique target with almost no assistance from the heart or instinct. This mode is meant to be the ultimate challenge in Hitman, with details coming sometime in the future. Escalation mode, well, escalates. Over the course of combat, new foibles keep the mission pumping with new restrictions and new dangers. But the situation keeps ratcheting up until you either complete the mission or well, you know what happens in the other scenario. Contract mode allows you to pick your target, mode of removal and more before doing the deed. After you do it, you can challenge your friends to handle the same mission and shoot for a higher score. It's Mario Maker of Murder. Sniper Assassin mode lets you, you never guess, snipe. This silent and deadly mode is all about getting the kills without triggering any attention. Hitman 3 Sniper Assassin is a single player experience and more details will be coming on this game in the future. I'm Ashraf Ismail, game director for Assassin's Creed Origins. I've waited a long time to say that. Ubisoft has fired Assassin's Creed Valhalla creative director Ashraf Ismail following an investigation over sexual misconduct allegations. Though Ismail was asked to step down from his role in June 2020, the company launched a probe following a wave of sexual abuse stories shared online and included several high-profile Ubisoft executives. The case looked at several accusations made by several women who claimed Ishmael lied about his marital status to initiate relationships. Ishmael, who worked on other Assassin's Creed games including Origins and Black Flag, later announced on June 24, 2020, he would be leaving his position to deal with personal problems in relation to the wave of social media stories. The lives of my family and my own are shattered, Ishmael tweeted earlier late June in response to the widespread allegations. 
and now the best news has been saved for last so the legal battle between apple and epic has escalated a tweet from epic's official newsroom feed has revealed apple will be terminating all epic's developer accounts on august 28th preventing the company from any future work for ios or macintosh platforms epic responded by filing for a temporary restraining order to prevent apple from doing so last week apple kicked fortnite off the app store after Epic implemented a direct payment system that bypassed Apple's required 30% cut of all transactions. Google did the same thing afterwards, though the game can be still sideloaded on Android devices. In response, Epic filed suit against both Apple and Google. Assuming that the restraining order is not granted and Apple does in fact terminate Epic's access to iOS and macOS developer tools, the effect of this action will be rippling out far beyond Fortnite. Without access to the developer tools, Epic will not be able to make any updates to the Unreal Engine to keep it compatible with those operating systems. Consequently, any apps created by developers other than Epic will eventually be unable to remain compatible with most of the recent versions of iOS and macOS, which will force them to either remove the apps or attempt to recreate their apps in another engine such as Unity or Goldot. So that's the end of the current and hottest news in the world of gaming. This is getting really intense, the whole Epic versus Apple thing. Yeah, so if you want um, details about the whole story, how it started, how it's going, I'll keep covering it in the news. But if you want details on just this story, I'll leave the cards up here. There's a video, I created a video on it. So I'll leave the cards up here and make sure to check it out. Leave a like down, subscribe to my channel, wash your hands and... If you don't have to go out, don't go out. Stay away from Corona. All right, see you in the next video.